Alrighty, <clears throat> yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG 94 with another one. Another one. Another <clears throat> NBA live. My career game plan today. We are taking on. The man, the myth, the legend himself, the Greek freak, Greek god. We're taking on the hometown team today. We're going to try to see if we can come out here at this victory. And man, Giannis, man. <clears throat> My favorite player right now, dog. I ain't never had a favorite player. My number one favorite player has never played on the Milwaukee Bucks until right now. This is my first ever time. Oh, oh my God! Damn it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Yep, that's gonna happen. All right. Oh, wide open. He left me wide open, though. Bangerific. Let's go. You ain't guarding me. I'm going to make you pay. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. That, God damn it. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Because they team too fucking long and they're athletic on top of that. So they can run the small ball. Oh, you don't stand in that paint, Eric Bless, so you're going to get this work. But yeah, man, we taking on the Greek freak. We taking on Greek God. The man, the myth, the legend himself. And, dog, we... We... I don't, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but we on damn near a 30-game win streak, bro. We ain't lost not one fucking game yet. And I was playing on 12-minute quarters, but actually that helps. And they called a foul on me. How is that a foul on me? I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing, dude. I ain't gonna say nothing though. Fuck it. Give me that rebound. Get big, Giannis. Get big, Giannis. I'm out here, boy. Oh, mismatch. Clear out. Clear out. Clear out. <laughs> That's off. Oh, I made it. I made that. That's crazy. Oh, get that. He's not going to shoot it, though. We ain't worried about Giannis. He's not going to shoot that. Give me that re... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, let's get it. That's off. Oh, I made it. Wow. Oh, yeah. My nigga on fire. I forgot. We playing the hometown team. That's extra motivation right there, dog. We playing a hometown team. That's extra motivation. That's all the motivation we need, dog. Eric Blesso, don't stand in that paint, young fella. Look at that bang. I did not think I was going to make that. I just threw that bitch up. Oh, shit. I keep thinking that's hardened for some odd reason. 
Ah. Oh, I got it. I don't know how I got that, but somehow, some way, I got that to go in. We ain't even gonna ask how that went in. We just, we just gonna take it for what it is, dog. But yeah, man. <clears throat> I wanted to. <clears throat> God damn, I'm losing my voice. Shit. I wanted to talk about NBA Live. Oh my God, Ryan Anderson passed the ball, sir. I want to talk about NBA Live. I want to get my thoughts on this game. I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do a review. Yeah, nigga, you said that about NBA Playgrounds, and we still ain't seen that review. Well, I was going through some shit. God damn it. I, had, I, I was going through some shit. I had to figure out a place to stay. God damn it. Shit. Wide open though, Ryan Anderson, get him. Ah, but yeah, man. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the game. It's 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 top three. It's top three NBA lives ever made. It's it's top three. I say it's top three. I give it top three for uh, some 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 of the NBA lives that we've seen. I say it's better, it's better than NBA Live Ten. And that's saying a lot. That's saying a complete lot about this game. It's better than NBA Live Ten. It's fine. They finally made a game. That can get people to not say NBA Live 10 was the last NBA Live they ever made. It's better than NBA Live 10. Is it up there with 05 and 04? Fuck no. No, I don't think no. I don't think not one game will ever reach those games, unless they really make a complete overhaul and really just go back to what made this game great, was just the, the innovative and creativity that they possessed. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just taking things away. Like putting things in the game and then taking them away later. Like it never made sense to me how you always had the All-Star Weekend in here. But then you take it out. And y'all are the first ones to do this. And y'all did it so well. Like I keep saying though, they got to bring back the duck contest and the All-Star games and stuff like that. Um, You know. I just, me personally though, man, I only got like two problems with this game. I don't really have a lot of negative things to say about NBA Live 18. Like, to be honest with you, I feel like this, this, this is one of the best NBA Lives I've played in a while. I, I am not afraid to admit it. it. This is the one of the best NBA lives they have ever made in a while. It's not reach. It's not touching 04, 05, but it doesn't need to do that right now. The only thing it needs to do is it just needs to be fun to play and something to come back to. You know what I'm saying? Like when 2K is pissing me off, I can just jump out of that and go straight into this. And they do that. Now, I only have two big problems with this game because two of these problems, they're big problems. And because they both, they both make the game what it is. But they're just two big problems that just don't, you know, this game's not perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This game is not perfect. It, it has flaws. But I save all that for review. I save all of that for review. But what I wanted to just say real quick. Because I feel like these things need to be said. You know what I'm saying? So I hope the EA devs. I hope you're watching. I know you're watching. I know you're watching. But 
Listen, man. What was the purpose of adding the WBA in here? That's my real question. What was the real purpose of adding the WNBA in here? If you weren't really going to integrate them the way it should have been integrated. Like, we should be able to play with the WNBA teams online. Like, if we go into WNBA mode, we should be able to do uh, WNBA franchise mode. We should be able to do a WNBA online matchup. We should have WNBA players in Ultimate Team. Like, why can we not play with WNBA players in Ultimate Team? Why we can't pair up the NBA players and the WNBA players? I understand a lot of people be like, well, you probably get more WNBA players in packs. Well, that's where you can separate the two. Because, see, what you could do is you could put, you could just be like, you, you don't get WNBA players in packs. And just in, in like random packs that you open, like say you get an ultimate team card um, for for leveling up an ultimate team. You don't get a WNBA player at all. The WNBA players are in their own pack. That's how you get the WNBA players. You get them in their own pack. It's a it's a it's a certain it's a separate pack for the WNBA players. You gotta you gotta pay. I don't know how many reward points you would have to pay to get that to get that, but it. it I mean, I, I just feel like it would work that way if you just made them separate from the whole my team experience, but you had them in there just in case you wanted to add uh, like a Maya Moore or a Candace Parker or Brittany Grinder to the team. Like, say I wanted, you know, say I wanted like a Candace Parker and I wanted to put her with a team of like fucking. I wanted her to run the point. Because I got fucking, I got Giannis and fucking KD taking over my, my, my two and my three spot. And then I got DeMarcus Cousins and fucking Joel Embiid running the four and the five. And I just want my team, and I want my starting five to be tall as fuck. Like, so I can just put Candace Parker in there at the point guard position. That'd be dope if I could do some shit like that. That would make me want to play ultimate team. There's no purpose for me to play ultimate team, and y'all not even integrating players. Like it's all so, like I mean I understand they add legends and all that shit, but that they do that every year. Both games do this shit every year, so it's like it's it's not new. Adding the WNBA players though, that makes me want to play ultimate team. The fact that we can't play with them online, what the fuck? Like, don't get me wrong, it was a good idea. It's just, what was the purpose for them? If you was just going to only make them for for single player. Like, I don't want to play with them on single player. I don't want to go online and face the Golden State Warriors because people can't win because everybody got a cheese to win, so they got to use the Golden State Warriors. I can go online and use a WNBA team and play against people online. That would be dope to do. But we can't do that because fucking because apparently they they didn't really they really didn't think this through. They they just threw the WNBA in here just because they wanted the attention. That's really what this was for. This was for attention. This was to draw attention to their game. And to make people consider buying it. Because of the WNBA. Like what was the real intentions behind adding them into the game? I'm just trying to figure it out. Because I don't want to play with them offline. I want to play with them online. I want to do more with these. With these. With this. With this. With this new variety. 
with this new integration into the game. You integrated a new thing into the game. It's revolutionary. It's something... It's something that I think is going to make the competition consider it an option. And the competition 2K can most definitely make the can make the transition of adding WNBA players into 2K and then they could even take it a step further and do all the things that I said and not even that they could fuck around and you could start making female my players and shit like that taking them out to the park do you know how fucking do you know how fucking popular 2K is in the fucking female with with female gamers there are more female gamers playing 2K than are playing NBA Live right now I'm just saying if 2K wanted to, they could take the WNBA and integrate something even better than what NBA Live has done. Because what y'all have done with NBA with with the WNBA, it what 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 NBA Live has done with the WNBA, it's pretty lackluster. It, they didn't really do nothing with it. It's it's pretty lackluster at best. Don't get me wrong. It's fun to play with them. It's just like we want more to do with them because there's it's so fun to play with the WNBA players that you want more out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's fun to play. I'm not saying it's bad. It's it's like it's not like it's bad to have them in the game. The W playing with the WNBA players is really fun. It's just the fact that you can't do nothing other than play single player by yourself with the WNBA players unless you got a friend come over and y'all just get the controllers out and start trying to bust each other ass with the WNBA like dog it would be a lot better if there was more done to the WNBA with the WNBA um, integration of in part of this game but that's just one gripe I got. The other gripe I got is with these fucking reward system. The reward system sucks. Both games reward system sucks, if I do say so myself. But 2K gets a pass. 2K gets a pass because you... Because, I mean, even though you have to buy, like, $20 worth of VC, level up to a certain overall, just so that way you can get fucking knee pads and shit like that knee pads and wristbands and shit like that for your player like it's it's still like you can get it right then and there with NBA Live you have to go through crates which is fucking dumb why am I spending so much fucking money on a fucking crate just to get some knee pads now listen I like the crates idea but I don't like it for trying to get knee pads and wristbands and fucking socks, okay? I shouldn't have to go through... I shouldn't have to go through a crate nine or ten times spending at least 80,000 skill points Or reward points just to get a fucking just to get a fucking uh knee pad bruh it don't make no sense bruh like I said two K's is terrible too but shit at least I can get it on the fly like I don't have to spend like I mean yeah I'm not I don't have to spend real money to get the fucking um to get the knee pads but shit i but shit the way how 2k does it is more faster i shouldn't be stuck in the fucking you know what i'm saying like i shouldn't be stuck in one uh i should be able to go in there get what i need be out get right back into the game no i have to literally sit here go through this whole fucking crate before i get to the items that i want and all I want is some fucking knee pads and some socks and a wristband and an arm sleeve. 
that shouldn't be in the crates. What the crates should have been used for was shoes and clothes for your player when you're out there on the streets. But it shouldn't have been for like just any type of clothes. It should have been for those rare limited, those rare, those rare clothes that the, the playerlistic clothes. Like, oh, you want a customizable jersey with your name on it and stuff like that. You get a jersey with your name and your number on it. Like, even though you don't play for that team in uh the in in um the rising star mode. You could still have your name on any jersey, any team like you can in 2K. That would have been dope to do it like that if you was going to do the crate thing. I wouldn't have minded like that, but shit. <sighs> to put all the accessories, all the clothes, all the shoes in one big ass, you know... In one in one fucking crate and force you to go through the whole fucking crate just to get a pair of fucking socks and an armband and some knee pads that's a fucking force right there it really is it's a fucking force EA and it needs to be fixed we need to just be able to go in Get the accessories we need and be out. We shouldn't have to go through crates. Crates should be used for the rare things. Like uh like the fucking bait and uh pink dolphin shit. Or like the Nike or like a Nike shirt or a Jordan shirt or an Adidas shirt or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they should be used for certain crates. And another thing too Okay, so I get the shoe deal, right? I get the shoe deal message, right, from my agent. Okay, so I told him that I wanted to sign with Nike. He said he was going to have it done. Why the fuck am I not signed with Nike? Why do I not have free Nike shoes? You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, come on, man. I, I, I told him that I wanted to sign with Nike. He said he said it's done. He said consider it done. And I'm like, and I'm just sitting up here waiting. Like, why the fuck do I not have, like, Nike shit on me right now? Like, what the fuck? If you're going to have a shoe endorsement here, don't pump fake it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, like, I don't, I don't understand, bro. It's a lot of things that's confusing me and pissing me off with this game i mean it's not nothing major as far as gameplay wise like gameplay wise the game is good it's good it's nba live it's good it's better than nba live 10 i will say that it's a lot better than nba live 10 it's even better than nba live 09 and they had the fucking dunk contest and that was the last game that had the dunk contest and the three-point contest i will say it's better than those two games but it's not. It, 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 a lot, a lot more can be done for this game. There could be a lot more for this game if they put the effort in. Y'all just added the ed the roster editor. Can you can you can you get rid of the crate system at least at least for the accessory? Okay, now if they some Jordan accessories, Nike accessories, Adidas accessories, okay, understandable. But if it's just some fucking knee pads, a black knee pad, a white knee pad, a green knee pad, a red knee pad, a blue knee pad, come on, dog. I shouldn't be spending all my goddamn reward points just to get a fucking knee pad. I shouldn't spend like 80,000 reward points just to get a fucking knee pad. Because I got to go through a whole fucking crate hoping that I get it on the first go. I just came in there to get a wristband and some knee pads. Like, damn, dog. It's fucking ridiculous, dog. I'm sitting up here playing this game all day. And I'm like, okay, I want some more accessories for my guy. And. I, 
this game, dog. It's it's just annoying, bro. Like they need to go back to the reward system that they had in the previous game. Well, in NBA Live 16, I should say they didn't have no reward system. Like in NBA Live 15, NBA Live 14. Um, pretty much like you could just go into Rising Star mode, all the shoes unlocked, all the all the accessories are unlocked with NBA Live 16. They made you have to play the game in order to get what you wanted. But see, you didn't have to go through these fucking crates. All you had to do was just be like, okay, I want that wristband. I want that knee pad. I want them leg sleeves. I want that arm sleeve. I want that headband. Okay, you want all that? Okay, it's right here. Uh, just give us 250 reward points. 250 reward points for a fucking uh, for a fucking arm sleeve. And I'm sitting up here with like I'm sitting up here with like over 80,000 reward points so I can literally buy anything I want if I wanted to I could buy all the accessories which is what I did do when I did have all them all them reward points but now you gotta go through a fucking crate which is fucking stupid just to get a fucking knee pad the crate should only be used for shoes uh Uh, the the branded clothing, the premium clothing, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. It shouldn't be used for fucking socks. It shouldn't be used for fucking knee pads. It shouldn't be used for fucking ankle bracelets and ankle braces and shit like that. It shouldn't be used for none of that. Okay. Tattoos, I can even understand being in crates. If you want to put the tattoos in the crates, understandable. Oh, yeah, another thing, too. They need to fix the fucking tattoos. My player is tatted up, bro. Why is it that only one tattoo shows up on his body? That is fucking dumb. They need to fix that, bro. It's a lot of problems with this game. But anyways, though, man, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you if you're an EA fag boy on that fag boy shit. You can miss me with it, bro. Anyways, that's pretty much just going to do it. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, peace out.